To see your replenishment recommendations in Inventory Planner, browse to the Replenishment Report. Within here, you'll be able to select the date you wish to analyse your cells data for, which will be used for our forecasting purposes. Please note, changing this date range here will affect the forecast default settings for recent cells and trends. If you are using last cells or seasonal forecast methods, changing this date range will have no effect on the forecasting. Once you have selected the desired date range to analyse the cells, you will see our replenishment recommendations. This value is based on two pieces of critical information, which is your lead time, which is the number of days from the day you order from your supplier to the day you expect it to arrive into your warehouse and be available for customers. And then also your days of stock. You can see this as your stock cover or perhaps your ordering frequency. It is this date range we are forecasting and that is what fuels our replenishment recommendation. Using this item at the top as an example, based on our future forecast, we're recommending ordering 1,324 units today to arrive in 14 days time. And we want to order enough stock to last from September 6th, which is the end of the current lead time for 30 days. Naturally, increasing this value will result in a higher replenishment recommendation. We do take into account also your current stock levels and also if there are any open purchase orders. You will see we also have a replenish date, which is the date we recommend ordering by to avoid missing out on future sales. The information icons in order of severity are red, which means we see this item currently has zero stock in the location we are reporting on. Amber or yellow, which means we see this item has stock in the location being reported on, but we forecast it to sell out within the leads time. We then also have a gray icon, which is our normal information colored icon. This means we see the item has stock and that is adequate to meet the demand forecasted within the leads time. However, there still may be the case that we are recommending replenishment, which is the amount of units we recommend ordering today to arrive by the end of your lead time to meet the cells forecasted within the days of stock period. It is therefore important that the lead time and days of stock be set to be factual and as desired. If you have multiple suppliers and your lead time can be unpredictable, we recommend setting this to be the worst case scenario However, then when it comes to creating a purchase order, you will have the ability to set the expected date on the purchase order to be as required. When you're happy to proceed with creating a purchase order based on these replenishment recommendations, you can select items or select all using the top selection check mark. And when ready, use the option to create new purchase orders at the bottom.